the hook, you are able to see my screen, right? So once the installation has completed successfully, so here, now we will uh, like, uh, let me go back to that particular screen. So let me close all my open project so that uh, for the first time, where we can start, we will go back to that minimize window. So I'm moving back to that particular window. Whatever the applications I have already opened that I am closing one minute. So here now, like while you are creation of the project, so normally here few things are required. One is the project name. So the project name, normally the client will decide the project name. So as for that, we will write. But here for the practice purpose, we are like, we are creating, like this is our first project. So here we will create as the first, the next, what is the particular component we are going to discuss and the particular component name only we will create the project like that we will go step by step here so i think it's all projects are closed just a minute i specifically open that particular studio But still one more project is there that's sufficient this much right i'm closing that also now so after successful installation of android studio so everyone got window like this but here there is a some more update on that like here my studio is now it is in a h version whatever the version you are installing now that is with the i version so here yeah, the user interface wise there is a small difference but here whatever the options here i'm explaining just you can follow that anyhow after completion of this class uh, i'm sharing the video also so right you can follow the video but don't practice parallelly in a class so that what happens you may miss some of the things which i have explained here so after the session, with reference of that video, you can practice. If you have any questions, immediately you can post that question in a group or you can ping me on WhatsApp so that I can help you on this particular area. Right. So now here, I'm creating one new project here. See, I'm clicking on the new project. Once I click on the new project, here we have some of the options so in this year, see, phone, tablet, Android OS, television, automotive, like here multiple options is there. First concentration is ours is the phone and tablet. So in this, I'm selecting here, empty views activity. So you can select this empty views activity, right? Once you select this empty views activity, you can click on next. But why you have to select this empty views activity means if I select this empty views activity means the basic uh, basic properties will be created with XML as well as one Kotlin file. So that's the reason I'm selecting this. This is the basic standard. Right. So here the application name. Name means this is the app name. So here I'm giving that first test app first test app my application name i have given as the first test app in this there is no like normally you can give the first letter as the capital so that is just we can follow that minimum standard so that it will be fine but next step here package name normally 
when we create a project for the client, client itself, they will give the package name. So I want application name is this, package name is this, like that they will provide. But in our case, normally when we install the first time the Android Studio, we will get here com dot example dot whatever we given the app name that came here. So that here I modified that com dot Androidian dot first test means com dot instead of example I have given as my website name that is Andro Indian. Like you want to follow the same standard, you can follow the same standard so that you won't face any issues. Like if you want to go something else, you can go, no problem on that. But at least initial few projects, what I'm given, you can follow that. After once you get the clarity on those components, whatever you want, you can do on the next step, that is right. Next, this is the save location. So in your laptop, somewhere you can create a one folder. Somewhere you can create that folder. You can see here I created as a desktop Android Indian on that March 30. So on March 30, we created a first project, the first program. So I have created here first test. Right. After that here, default, it is the Kotlin. So no need to change anything. It will be Kotlin, Kotlin only because we are working on Kotlin only. So now the minimum SDK version. So the minimum SDK version is here. It is showing the 24. So this will be auto suggested automatically it will take. So no need to work on that. So automatically it will take this 96.3% of devices will support on this. As for the Google survey. So like this is the Kotlin related supported files automatically downloaded into your project. No need to touch anything. Just I'm clicking on a finish. So once I click on a finish, for the first project, when you create, it will take minimum of two to three minutes. It will take minimum time that is. Sometimes maybe it will take around five minutes also. In case, while install installing of the Android Studio, if any particular files are missing or I installed Android Studio one month back and today I have created a first project. In this one month, if any updates, library related updates or Android Studio related updates, if anything is happened while creation of the project itself, that can be updated along with the project creation. So because of that is the reason now it will take a little bit time to create this project. Right. Hope this is clear for everyone now that project creation. Right. So now what happens here? Once we create a project here, so it will create two files. One is the XML, other is the Kotlin. Dot KT, see here dot kt extension of kt is nothing but it is a kotlin file normally in java it will be like dot java right so that is a dot java here it is a dot kt it is kotlin and dot xml so dot xml will defines this is the xml file so the xml file right so two files will create and these two files will be opened properly with that so that is the XML, right? Once this project has created properly, we can able to see here. Means once it is open here, it will create one user interface. So that is with uh, hello world text. So the default is some of the code will be generated on XML as well as the Kotlin file. So in XML, it will create a one text to view with name of hello world. See here, this is the text it will create. So for that here, user interface will be also displayed here. Right. 
so that will take little bit time so meanwhile here what we are going to discuss here is now so this xml so when you want to create an xml hope you have people have little bit knowledge on html maybe you never worked on that but you something you read on academics you have like so when i want to create a web page right i'll create web page with x with the html tags like one header tag one paragraph pre tag uh, in header tag also i use h1 h2 h3 h4 or i want to create a list like li line line by line so i want to break br i use like multiple tags right those are the multiple tags how that can be utilized like means every tag must has that as well as one ending tag right so how that starting and ending tags are there in a html even here in our case of xml also we have starting tag as well as an ending tag right in case if it is having the starting tag and ending tag so like this he is start with one default name called one thing that is a layout here you can remember always it will be majority of the cases it will be on name of layout right so here on the name of layout see here for example this is like this first line so whatever this first line so i have it is the default the version and encoding utf8 so these two are the common for every type so this is common for every time no need to remember that whenever in future in case if you have any updates further so that can be update automatically without intimating you or without your interruption so automatically that can be take place of that all right so the next here next to that first line forget about that just you can remember there is a version so whatever the version 1.0 2.0 whatever it is that is not a matter for us right after that so this is the starting tag of the xml so this is the starting tag means always the tags will start with the, this symbol like ending with this symbol right so this is the starting tag and for this xml this is a layout forget about this name so this is the layout for this particular layout this these all are the properties we will discuss each property what is that but these all are the properties has given for this particular this so it has here partial this is the this we can say has the partial close this is the partial close when we close like this partially within a that particular element or the component we can create multiple components or multiple things we can create on this particular this like see this is partial close and this is the fully close for this first layout see this is the layout ending tag let us say if i comes to this text to view see here this is fully closed again whenever it is slash uh, and this uh, greater than so that it can be fully closed see when i select here automatically this is select here means it is started here and ended here like whenever the this is ended like this within a text to view i cannot arrange any of the component but this layout has started here and it is ended here whenever it is started like that and ended here within a that i can arrange the component right 
last time I explained with simple example as a building. So let me explain the same example now here. So let us say you consider like I'm living in a four stage building. Okay. So in the each floor has three rooms, four rooms, let us say, depends on a situation. Let us say one floor has only one room or second floor has three rooms, third floor has one room. Let, let me assume in that way. So here I have created, a, this is the building. Okay, this building has ended here. So building partially closed here. For the building, I have given the property, like it has some height, it has some width. I have given some color. I have given like it is a roof with a flooring, like it is a metal or it is a concrete, like some of the properties I have given, right. Then once I given that properties within that, like I have created here first floor. First floor is has only one room. So I have created first floor. Within a first floor, I will create only the single room. Like next, I create the second floor. And second floor, I create multiple rooms. Third floor, I create the multiple, like three rooms. Fourth floor, again, I create only one room. Like that, I can arrange multiple components here in a single XML file. Means that XML, whatever here, the building is our parent. Right, within a building, I have multiple floors. Again, floor is the sub-parent for the that particular rooms. So on that way, you will arrange the components. Right. Hope still this is clear to everyone or you have any questions. If, uh, if it is clear, just you can message me, yes. Otherwise, you can. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Now, so for this, like here, see, this is still it is creating now. For this layout, here we have two folders. One is the Android, other is the app. So in Android, from the Android folder, we can access some of the properties. From app folder, we can access some of the properties. And the tools folder, we can access some of the properties. With these three folders, we can access the some of the properties which we are using for here, the design perspective. So that we will use here, this, right. So for that here now, XML NS, NS means it is a namespace. So with this namespace, I'm accessing here. This is looking like a URL, but it is not a URL. So it is internal call for your properties like this. And it has like this layout has some height as well as the width. So this height and the width, total we can give in a four ways. So one is the match parent. Second is the wrap content. This is the wrap content. Third is the fill parent. And fourth is the manual. So to understand those four properties, like here, like layout. So some of the layout, like I already told, there is a multiple layout. So that layouts even here you can see. So here I'm clicking on the design. Right here, there is three options. Design, layout, design. This I clicked on here, right. Now here, I have clicked on the layout. So here, constraint layout, linear layout, like here, multiple layouts are there. So from here now, today, first we will start with the relative layout so for that here now i'm removing this see when i'm removing the code on a first line automatically the ending tag is also modifying right see here now i'm adding the relative so relative layout right see once i given relative layout whatever the text it is there so it is displayed on the top here this right so to understand the height and width properties i'll give here one property called background so for this background i have given as followed by just you can give as followed by any of the three digits so then it will create a one color palette here so by clicking this palette 
here you can change the background color see something i have changed like this see automatically the color has changed here like this right now here height and width both are match parent match with the parent see here it is fully occupied like let us say i have changed the orientation see when i change the orientation also it is matched with this like it is portrait mode and it is landscape mode in both modes it should be satisfying the match for it like let us say i'll create this wrap content width width means it's a left to right height means top to bottom right here wrap content here wrap content height and width both i have given as the wrap content right here i am writing this i am increasing the text hello see when i am increasing the text automatically that content increasing right the content also it is increasing see content also it is increasing like this so it is increasing the content see like this now i'll rotate the screen see now it is two lines see when i rotate it is arranged in a single line so based on the ui if it is the wrap content wrap how much the content is there it can occupy that much of the space so that is the wrap content right now so the second third way how we can give the third way is the fill parent so i have given here as the fill parent but here now see while giving the fill parent now it is striked with the line so whenever any particular method in any of the programmatical language if it is striking with the line means that particular method has deprecated deprecated means it will expire soon it will expire soon so for that now here whatever we given here that will be going to expire soon means that property has replaced by something so that property has replaced by match parent so that property has replaced by match parent so now don't use don't use fill parent if you get any older project to work on the next if it is having the fill parent immediately you can change that to match parent right last here that is manually so you can go with the dp so 200 dp by 200 dp i have given like this even now i change portrait it should be like 200 by 200 like this right hope till this is clear to everyone yes, sir. so okay so what i'm suggesting here now so this is the today first program first day like last saturday also almost we discussed the same thing so you have some confusions on that day so that's the reason i repeated this session so today because of the first session just first you can practice till this so that after that we will continue the next session because once you have clarity here till we will start with the relative layout properties too sure sir okay bye sir.